What's up divas? It's your girl April. So today's video is going to be a custom lace frontal that I made using the hair from Julia Hair. This is an Amazon store and I'm not sure if they do have AliExpress but all the links I will post below for you guys. They did send me over their Brazilian Body Wave, a 14 inch lace frontal, 16, 18 and 20 inch bundles. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and prepare my edges by using some of my favorite Gorilla Snot Gel and I'm just going to take my toothbrush and kind of like swoop me just a little bit of baby hairs. You don't need much but the main purpose is just to make sure that my edges are laid flat and neat so that way I can put on this unit. So as I stated they did send me over their Brazilian Body Wave bundles and frontal and it is an Amazon store. I do love Amazon. You guys know I love Amazon so I will post a $10 off coupon code below for you guys to use on Julia Hair. This is virgin hair. It was super easy to make. I did use all of the bundles of their hair as well as that as did, when I did wash it of course it did shed. Um, I'm not going to say it did excessive shedding but it did its normal shedding like you would see whenever washing any brand new hair. Now I did place the wig on or I did make the wig a little bit snug as well as that as I did not put any combs in it this time. I just put a nice wide elastic band that I did purchase from Walmart. Walmart has an array of elastics so you can definitely get yourself the nice wider ones there. This time around like I said I didn't need a comb because I did make it nice and snug. Along with that I did pre-tweeze some of the hairline but I didn't want to go overboard like I did on another wig so girl um, I just took my time and I didn't tweeze a lot I also did forget to tweeze the part like I normally like to do because I do think that their frontal would need like a little bit tweezing and that's just my preference um, the knots were a little bit close in the frontal so I would suggest that you know tweezing it if you get one if you want to part in it you wouldn't need to tweeze it or you can bleach the knots so I just decided to use my Too Faced press powder which is a close match to my scalp and it came out pretty well and as you can see the edges or not the edges but just the trimming or the hairline of the unit is somewhat not thick but it's just a little bit it's not as thin as I would like it to be so I'm just going to take some of the hairs and I'm just going to brush them down and this is the hairs it's actually from the unit I don't want to put too many baby hairs because you guys know I am not into the baby hairs like that but what I could have done is I should have cut some into the sides of the unit but that is the reason why I'm just going to basically gel some down so as you guys can see I did tweeze some of the hairline on it but like I said I didn't want to go overboard so it doesn't look bad I just feel like the knots in the frontal could use a little bit more tweezing especially for the part area but you know there's always a way to work around that so I decided to do me like some kind of design I don't know I was like in the mood for like designing some baby hairs okay you know do something different make a little sleep so for this portion right here the main hairline portion I'm going to definitely go ahead and cut me some baby hairs. I don't want them so long because this is the part where it's more noticeable. Not noticeable as the, the hairline looks bad, but you know, people give you eye contact, so you really don't want a lot of baby hairs right there smack dead in the middle of your forehead. You want to make them as sparingly as possible. I just say less is more, so I did cut them and I'm not going to use a lot. I want them to look as natural as possible, so I just went ahead and took just a little bit down. So the hairline doesn't look that bad, um, but I really would have preferred to actually actually go ahead and tweeze the actual um, part in it but for the most part the hair curled really easy I did use my one inch barrel to curl it prior to me curling the hair I did wash it of course I didn't do anything spectacular or you know time consuming when washing it. I just used regular Garnier conditioner like I always do use and I also just allowed it to air dry on my mannequin head overnight I don't like to blow dry the hair because for one it's just time consuming so I just allow them to air dry and then I'll go ahead and style them Prior to styling it or using the hot curler, I did use some of my Herbal Essence Styling Mousse. This helps any flyaways and also helps hold the curl. And as you guys can see right here, my favorite hairspray in the whole wide world, which is Aussie Instant Freeze. I swear by it. Like, I'm saying, it's the best. So this hair is really gorgeous. I love the way it turned out. I like the way the swoopage. I didn't cut anything of this hair. The ends were perfect. You know what I'm saying? It's nice and soft. It curled really, really easy. The color is dark. It's a natural color it 
it's virgin brazilian hair super easy and it's only three bundles but listen you don't need a lot of hair if you want it to look natural then definitely check out their prices they are very affordable so if you're on a budget you can definitely look them over um, i'm not going to say the hair is going to last you for eternity but as long as you know how to take care of it then it's definitely going to last you okay um and like i said i did use all the bundles just some loose curls in it and i love the look like this reminds me of like one of my favorite wigs from like back in the day and the baby hairs are very minimal they're not a little bit and they're not a lot but i do like the way the baby hairs came out so definitely check out Julia Hair. I will post all of their information below for you guys. Like I said, they do have a $10 off coupon. You can follow them on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, as well as you can check them out. And if you want to save some coins and get your popping with your hairstyle, then definitely check them out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Stay diva and divalicious. Let me know what you think of this one. And if you want a wig made, you can definitely check out my website, which is gonewiththewindwigs.webly.com. That will also be posted in the link below for you guys. And yeah, I love you guys. I hope you're having like a fabulous New Year's. As you guys can see, that is 20 inches, which is pretty long on your girl. So I love you. Bye.